Yeah, my people, good morning, good morning. Bless up on yourself, you know. Salute to everyone. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day, man. You don't know, Thursday morning, yeah. Um, you don't know, morning inside. I'm here to just give what's happening over what Wednesday, yesterday. You don't know, Thursday morning today. You know, um, the reggae boys, young under 20, they out of the country, yeah. They on their way, probably reach already, yeah. More likely reach already, yeah, from yesterday. Not going to take a whole day to travel to St. Kitts, but yeah, the local base in TJ, you know, have traveled to St. Kitts and they are out of Jamaica. Wishing the young reggae boys good luck as you know, it's a long, long, very long time since we haven't qualified for a U20 World Cup. So let's hope the boys, um, you know, wish them all the best and hope they can take care of things in that first qualifying run. As you know, um, the, the CONCACAF, they have the top six um ranked team you know have a little exemption that way they you know automatically qualify for the final stage and you know the first round that jamaica is playing you know it's all about the group winners yeah the group winners so if we you know can't get through this one with martinique um grenada and st kitts that means we're not ready for football but i'm um, talking about that though group f of that group that jamaica the young river boys are in yeah um I think Martinique and Grenada is a team that should give us some challenge. Yeah, Martinique and Grenada is a team that should give us some challenge in that zone. Trust me, guys. When you really even look at, you know, um, how Grenada team is preparing. You know, when you really look at them, you know, Anto um, what's it? What's his name? I think his name is Anthony Modest, the former Portmore player. Yeah, he's a coach for. Grenada under 20 team and they have been going through a whole lot of preparation as you know they're taking this thing very very seriously especially especially um the president for the Grenada um, national federation yeah and also bermuda is in the zone so you know all those three teams bermuda grenada martinique if we can't take care of those team and we're not ready yet, but you know i'm 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 like i'm highly you know anticipate about this tournament you know it's a young group of players you know um as i was saying you know bermuda grenada and martinique is the countries that we're going to play in group f don't see you know why we should even drop two points yeah but martinique is a very good is a very good team but let's see where, where where they're going to go you know i'm going to drop up i'm going to drop you know i might drop a preview of the game i might you know drop a preview of the game but i know i'm going to do a review but might drop a preview but yeah um let's see you know if we can you know take care of business in those three games as we kick off a tournament on february the 24th yeah february the 24th a couple of days from now and then we let's see let's see man you know i'm going to watch those games you know on my desktop so hope you guys tune in to support the young reggae boys but um look the last time up you know we have qualified for a u20 world cup it was back in i think it was in 2001 where we qualified um for that World Cup. it was in um argentina when we were in group a um our only point we got in that group it was i think against egypt yeah, I think it was against Egypt, you know, we got smashed by Argentina and I don't remember what, which other team was in the zone, but that's all I can remember about, you know, that, that World Cup qualifier that we played in Canada, I you know that during that time, I think it was 2001, we played that, um, we played that winter tournament to qualify for the World Cup and it was really cold in Canada, yeah, during that time, the March period, it was really cold and we, we drew against Mexico, we beat Honduras 2-1 and then we drew against the O's, yeah, Canada 0-0 and Canada team was really good, you know, with Bushman and all those players, but, um, but, let's see, let's see what's going to happen because it's been a while since 2001, we haven't qualified for a U20 World Cup, so, let's see if these boys can repeat themselves, but, you know, over the last couple of um work up cycle u20 work up cycle it's been disappointed for the reggae boys you know it's been like this you know the last time you know we let dominica republic beat us in that quarterfinal game that we lost one nil you know in 2008 
we finish you know we finish second you know not qualifying for the sec not qualifying for the second round as mexico was in that zone remember when we played that game against mexico i think it was in florida against when Tariq mcgee when we played in mexican and lose not lose i think we drew that game 2-2 two -two. diego Linens was playing at that time for the mexica u20 team so you know it's it's always in you know, a struggle you know since since we qualified from 2001 then it's like we just cannot make a, a, a positive run and try to get to our next u20 World Cup. and then 2016 it was most of them when they travel i think it, i think they traveled to guyana you know and they finished third in the zone you know i think three teams finished on six points you know we fail i think we fe we fell behind around the goal difference we think we shot around four goals you know we lost one i think we lost a big one where we just lost i think four nil at all something like that but we won two games and last one but all three teams finished on six points but we just got what the top get and finish in that third spot you know but yeah you know we have been struggling man we have been struggling a you know, lack of preparation and all that for the regular boys so yeah hope you know hope hope this young regular boy team can go on you know last cycle it was they have this striker named i think his name is jamari clark you know that uk based um player he was really good that tall looking um that i think he is around six foot three i think he's playing i don't know if he's playing for forest green rovers but he was unknown i think last is there but yeah I, I forgot where is he right now but i know i um, I think the last time i follow up on him i think he was at forest green rovers when he was unknown there but yeah you know really good player but yeah hope these young players you know can do it you know hope they can do it man but i'm wishing them all the best as you know i'm going to tune in in a couple of days from now the 24th as we kick off a tournament against martinique yeah at 7 p.m should be 7 p.m eastern time um 6 p.m eastern time 6 p.m eastern time so yeah Hope everyone in you know, a tune in and support the reggae board. Um, the JPL, yeah, the JPL and JFF have announced a long term partnership, you know, to combine together man, to support the local league in Jamaica. You know, great, great news to see that, you know, Chris Williams and Owen is on board. Um, I have that Y Scout thing, you know, I took that, I took that, um, that subscription out and I'm not managed to get in it deep, but there's some extra stuff to it you know that i can use to cover the jamaican Premier League. there's an extra extra um kick to it you know more stats more things on it but i'm going to dig on it digging it more and more and you know, i think later today or maybe tomorrow but yeah good to see you know owen and chris Williams sticking around for the next decade kudos you know the league is really growing to talk about you know bringing the league abroad you saw what the nfl is doing bringing the league to germany um to england you know looking to bring it to mexico even um on the middle east yeah that's where the money is at so looking looking to see far as they said you know the league the champions will play some games abroad so the league is coming into the big apple yeah the big apple play that game up there in mount vernon so you know talking about what i heard from the man himself mr mr williams so guess is what man um i think that's it for the jamaican section but yeah as i said i have that wise code thing i'm going to check in on it more and let's let's see what's available what's see no let's see what is available more and more in it let's see if how deep um the tactics the scouting thing you know the statistics about the jamaican premier league let's see how deep it is but and oh uh, one more thing they only they only go in depth with, with the games that's available yeah they more go in depth with the game that's available on tv in the so if a monday night game played those two games on monday they will have a lot of stats you know covered for those games and also the sunday games that featured but other than that not many like a game played on sunday and it is what else you're not going to see you know much things about that as it didn't feature but yeah great thing though great thing it's a step in the right direction for the jamaican premier league but um look at premier league liverpool have came back again this is the fourth time liverpool have came back from you know at home when a steam scored first on them yeah the fourth time liverpool have done it came back from the iron and all competition this season at anfield liverpool is really stretching as they have nine first team players out nine first team players and a few more injured lads you know and that injury list but 
and they playing really strong you know four points above city you know uh manchester city still have that game in hand you know they played also on tuesday gone beat um brentford one nil at etihad in erling allen back to back goal for the norwegian striker yeah um what else you know but the passion that liverpool have that game it feels like it was a champions league game you could see the passion for club he's like yes yes you know you could see that you know you could see the passion man but even when van dyke scored that either the equalizer to put them one one you could see the passion in him you know look man there is something different about anfield when it comes on to choose and wednesday night yeah not talking about thursday but choose and wednesday there's something special the urgent club spoke about and said it feels like you know that barcelona that barcelona game that they came from behind and win that game you know so let's see how far you no know, liverpool can really stretch let's see how they they the depth of their squad deal with all this pressure you know going to come on them for the next couple of games um also the game on sunday big big game the carabao cup will face off against chelsea yeah in wembley stadium let's see if chelsea can create an upset um i think you know that's it i have for liverpool right there but the champions league yeah the champions league man big big thing as you know arsenal have lost in fc porto home yeah i think they call it stadio stad stadion jog jago you know but yeah arsenal have you know get what the duck get one nil late late goal but this is the thing you know with playing in the premier league and playing in europe you have to be more consistent you have to your green light after on at all time you just cannot give any loophole as you will concede in a snap of a time you know so let's see if Mikel Arteta men you know can turn around this tie at the Emirates to them in like what probably three weeks a month from now you know but Barcelona have drawn you know in Italy you know very I'd say it's a very fair fair result but you know even though Barcelona got some opportunities in that first half you know Yamel got two good looking but really good goal again you know from um Lewandowski but you know also man the man that's leaving you know setting a big big legacy at um napoli in especially in naples cars you know the last time they won the league before he came in it was back in the 80s when diego maradona was there and you know he won the league uh, a few seasons not not few seasons but last season they are the defending champion so his name his legacy is really strong you know because when people say okay napoli won the league two times they would look at armando and they will look like Osimen. so they're like whoa diego maradona won the league at Osimen. so you know he's a he's he's, he's he, his legacy is very strong in naples you know let's see where he's going to go in the summer is it paris Saint Germain? is it chelsea or wherever else in the premier league the la liga no one knows you know but victor Osimen, really true legend for um napoli football club man you know but napoli have been struggling you know they have been struggling in the in the league they fired you know their coach um matt Sari, you know and it's just not it's just not a good look right now for napoli in naples yeah but um it's europa league you know it's europa league time T today is today is thursday it's europa league you know um let's see who plays Let's see who plays um oh that that return leg of the roma and feyenoord galatasaray will travel to sparta prague you know yeah so let's see you know so freiburg you know freiburg was lens in the and in the first leg karabag versus braga you know karabag have won that first leg 4-2 um in portugal you know rents you know trying to overturn a three deficit against ac milan in france you know toulouse you know will play um at home to benfica as benfica is a team that you know really got really good squad you know they they crawl them way out of the way for champion league you know, in that zoo against inter real sociedad and and um red bull salzburg from austria you know so they are in it Look, looking forward to win the Europa League to bounce back to the Champions League. Marseille, struggling Marseille, you know, that just fired their coach, Ganero Gattuso. Yeah, Shakhtar Donetsk will travel to France to face Marseille. It's a 2 2 tie. Um, also, Roma have joined, you know, draw that game in Netherlands against Feyenoord. So they play today in the Stadio Olimpico in Rome. You know, Daniel De Rossi is trying to lead what Jose Mourinho did 
last champion in the Europa Conference League. Yeah. Also, um, Sparta Prague, as I said, they will host Galatasaray. You know, it's a 3 2 um, deficit that they're trying to overturn um, at home. Then Sporting Lisbon will play Young Boys. Sporting is leading 3 1. You know, in that first leg, we'll play that game in Portugal, the second leg. So, you know, that's it. And Christian Arana, that team, I think they are true to the quarterfinal of the AFC Champion League, the Asian Champions League. So, you know, let's see. And also, Cavaliers played later today in the National Stadium. Yeah, Cavaliers played later. Go and check out Cavaliers in the National Stadium. They will owe Cincinnati as Alvas Elvis Powell is back in his home country playing the CONCACAF Champion League against Cavalier, yeah, the runners-up in the CFU Championship. Also, the team that is leading the JPL season, Cavalier having conceded a goal in six, yeah, Cavalier having conceded in six, so, you know, whoever live in the US, that game will come on FS2, you know, Fox Saka 2, and it will, that referee will be that Mexican referee, yeah, Cesar Arturo Ramos, the big Kankakaf official, yeah, one of that one of his biggest uh, referee in our region. Um, so yeah, let's see what Cincinnati can do. You know, a team, you know, a team that done really well. You know, in the MLS, you know, they knocked out, you know, Philadelphia out of that um, the semifinal in the Eastern Conference final last season. They won the Eastern fight. They won the Eastern side of the MLS. You know, they came first behind in front of Orlando. And, uh, they finish six points above Orlando. Yeah, so Cincinnati is coming to Kingston, Jamaica. They are in Kingston, but yeah, they come into Kingston, Jamaica to face off against the big bad Cavalier. Yeah, let's see if Rural Speed men can pull off a big, big, big results against Cincinnati. Yeah, um, but let's see what's going to happen. But yeah, Cincinnati, you know, will try to. I think they will feel a very a good a good team yeah i think they will they will put out a good team you know but guess what the man himself pat noonan yeah the u.s coach is looking not to make any upset happen in this time but that's the cincinnati coach you know but let's see and the second leg will play in cincinnati on february 28th yeah so cavalier will play later check that out 9 p.m big big match big big match um I think I didn't mention the, ML, the MLS. Lionel Messi and friends also played yesterday. Yeah, Lionel Messi and friends also played yesterday against Real Salt Lake in downtown Miami last night. And it was a really good game. Really good game as the game finished 2 0 to Inter Miami. Yeah, Luis Suarez's first game of the pink colors. Yeah, full house stadium. A whole lot of celebrities all over the place. You know, as you know, Lionel Messi is in town that's what going to happen but um one of the big things though for inter, inter miami this season is that you know inter miami they're going to face they're going to face a lot of teams you know that's not going to defend you know they're going to face a lot of teams that are going to come at them but it's just to see how inter miami going to defend in transition especially with those older players you know jardy Busquets. you know um the back line is yedlin got speed but just to see your both center half going to deal with the pace in transition when inter milan turn over the ball let's see how they're going to defend because they struggle like that last um season but inter miami is is the one is they 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 one of the elite club where they just keep the possess of the ball really good as you know Busquets in the middle Messi is running in that little acute spot in around that little blind spot where the defenders and the midfielders can't touch him but they are one of the team that you know going to keep the ball very comfortable with themselves but it's all about how they defend in transition era with those old foot you know on the team but yeah I think you know that's it for my show the morning inside that people bless upon yourself thanks for watching man this is the kind of media salute